hope you're doing well today. I want to encourage you from something that my ABF class has been working through. We've been working through James. And this past week, we were in James chapter 1, verses 21 to 25. And I want to share that with you this morning. Therefore, lay aside all filthiness and overflow of wickedness and receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. For he observes himself and goes away and immediately forgets what kind of man he was. But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it and is not a forgetful hearer but a doer of the work, this one will be blessed in all that he does. Churches tend to put a large emphasis on information. And knowledge. We like to emphasize the importance of knowing scripture, knowing truth. We have Sunday morning service, Sunday evening service, we have uh, midweek service, we have ABF hour, we have Sunday school, we have youth group, we have Awana, we have uh, encouraged people to be in God's word for their own personal devotions because we want people to know truth. And that's rightfully so because without knowledge of God, we can't properly worship God. You cannot worship what you do not know. So we encourage people to be in God's word, to be transformed by it, to be reading it, to know it, to study it. I often emphasize in my preaching and in my teaching, I emphasize passages like 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, that we study to show ourselves approved workmen who need not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, rightly handling the word of God. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 18, 16 and 17, along those same lines, says that all Scripture is breathed out by God. It's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. But why? It says that the man of God may be perfect and complete, ready for every good work. That the Christian might be ready for every good work, perfect and complete. That's why we have God's Word. And that's Kind of what James is getting at here. It, that information and that knowledge we have, hearing God's word is not the end of the story. That's step one. And as a church, we encourage you to be in, be in services, to be in God's word in your personal devotions, because we want you to not just have information, but to take it the next step into action. And that's what James is talking about here. James reminds us that the, the truth of God's word is inherently practical. It is by its very nature practical. It's something that you can use in your everyday life. Ways you can grow spiritually. Ways you can serve others. Ways you can take that next step of spiritual growth. God's word is practical. My encouragement for you this morning is that you would put God's word into practice. How are you a doer of God's word? Whether it is a, a sermon that you heard online or on the radio, or a preacher on TV, or whether it's somebody on Facebook, whether it's one of the videos that Pastor Brian has put out for us. or Maybe it's even something you read in your own devotions. What are you putting into practice? How are you a doer of the word because of what you've heard this week? What are you doing with it? How are you putting God's word into practice in your life? James encourages us not to be a hearer only, saying that it, that is someone who deceives themselves. They say, I know the truth, but their lifestyle denies the fact that they know it, and they're deceiving themselves. Rather, James says, be a doer. Someone who doesn't just hear and forget, but someone who hears and puts into practice in their own lives and is a doer of the word. My encouragement for you this morning or this afternoon or tonight or whenever you're watching this video is that you would be a doer of God's word, not a hearer only. You would be encouraging one another. You'd be challenging one another. You'd be serving one another. You'd be putting the preferences of others before your own. That you would be a doer of God's word.